What's up, everybody? Such a giving flavor. It is crayon box. It's the main ingredient. So okay. I'll tell you guys. No questions asked. Box is a business that we pride ourselves on paying forward the love that any child with disabilities wants and needs. So, if you have you no know, disabilities, mental and social disabilities. That's what I meant to say. Crayon Bots pays for the love that any child with mental and social disabilities wants and needs and helps them find there's something beautiful as they showcase it. someone who has mental or social disabilities, I can fight for them in this army. And I can recruit you in the army if you don't have disabilities to help illustrate this story of something beautiful. It's important to give back that love. I mean, pay for that love. Because there's so many people in the position I was in at Roosevelt Elementary School in Raleigh that need my help today. Which is why, you know, I'm recruiting people from there to be in my army as we fight in the war ignorance and disabled children children with mental and social disabilities wow guys ain't it funny that when everything's closed start craving fast food, especially Chick-fil-A on a Sunday, seriously, I find myself always craving Chick-fil-A on Sunday, I know they close, I saw that meme of Chick-fil-A at closing time. And this is, I'm guessing, on Saturdays, you know. When they know they're going to close on, on Sunday because, you know, they're all Christian and stuff like that. At first, I picked Popeye's because, only because they're always there. They never close on Sundays, unless it's on purpose. But Popeye's is ice tea, socks. Popeye's cakes are mediocre. So, all right. I find myself doing pretty well with the Masked Singer. Oh, where was I before? Oh, yeah. First, I picked Popeye's because they're always open 
on Sundays, they're never closed, you know. At first I picked them because that was all I've ever known at first. That's all I've ever known. Oh. What's that? I've never tried Chick-fil-A mac and cheese, but I'm willing to try that. And I remember when I tried the Chick-fil-A sandwich back when we was in Rahway. I haven't had Chick-fil-A ever since Rahway. I think, all right. Once I start doing these auditions and one day, you know, after practice at Roosevelt School, I'm definitely gonna hit Chick-fil-A up. <laughs> What's with all the Pennsylvania license plates? This is Jersey. I could have hit up Jersey Mike's, you know. But no. I've been wanting Chick-fil-A for the longest. Probably since this Popeyes and Chick-fil-A beef. Since this sandwich, you know. Since August 2019. I want these some Chick-fil-A. I really, really want it. I'm probably going, as soon as this virus clears up, they're probably going to rush and complete the Chick-fil-A building because we've been waiting in South Plainfield patiently for a while now. We've been waiting. They said the Chick-fil-A in South Plainfield would come out in June 2018. It's March 2020 now. You owe people like me who live in this area a Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. And Popeyes don't be having no ice cream. <laughs> we need a Chick-fil-A though. We really do. We've been waiting for one for like forever. Why do I always crave Chick-fil-A on Sundays though? So that's what my head is. I'm really I've been craving Chick-fil-A. As soon as this virus just goes away, I'm gonna find the nearest Chick-fil-A. Seriously. And I'm not joking, I'm dead serious. All right, I'm not talking about chicken. All right. Man, sing it tonight. So what are your guesses? Let's start with an easy one, the frog. Immediately, I thought LL Cool J, and then he hit us with the points reference, so I'm thinking, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm thinking Will Smith. Oh, but LL is who I guess first. And then I heard Fresh Prince reference, so I said, okay, it's Will Smith. I don't know who it is. But yeah. And then he hit me with the basketball, basketball clue. And I heard the voice closely. The horns threw me off. I was thinking the In the Heights man, Lin-Manuel Miranda. But the basketball, I went back to the basketball clue for a reason. He has more of that like Mike sound. So I said Calvin Cambridge, AKA Bow Wow. It sounds like Bow Wow. 
this one. It's definitely Bow Wow. I put two and two together. Now I got four. The frog is Bow Wow. Easy one is Jesse McCart. Another easy one is Jesse McCartney. I mean the turtle. Whoops! I gave you another freebie. Yeah. So now that we're 11 minutes in. Let's talk about the white tiger. I believe it's Rob Gronkowski. The Night Angel, I've heard that it's Candy Burris, but I heard a British accent when I slowed it down. I'm pretty sure it's Lisa Stanfield, because she has that soulful voice that sounds like a black, that sounds like a black woman, but you know, in case y'all don't know, Lisa Stanfield came out with this this song been around the world nah yeah yeah came out like about 88 89 no 1989 um, she's a white woman from the UK I love blue eyes so I don't care what anyone says <laughs> yeah it's definitely Lisa Stanfield I don't care what y'all say about the Night Angel being anyone but Lisa. And I'm not saying I'm right, <laughs> but it sounds like Lisa Stansfield. And I've done my research on JoJo Siwa. And it could, she could be the T-Rex. It just might be her. It might be her as the T-Rex. I'll have to watch tonight. But I still think it's Avril Lavigne. Yeah. I'm still shocked about the bear being Sarah Palin. I guess Beth Broderick, Lindsay Sloan, Melissa Joan Hart, all the ladies that were in Sabrina the Teenage Witch, even Alyssa Donovan, I guess. Well, my first guess was Caroline Ray for the bear. And then when I played it back, I knew it was Sarah Palin. Uh, who's left in group A? The kangaroo. I said Tamala Man at first, but now I picked Jordan Woods. Jordan Woods is kind of cute, though. I'm not gonna lie. Now I have a crush on him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Stop being the male Nicole Scarzinger, man. You're not Nicole. Just chill. It's not fuck. Calm down. Not fuck. <laughs> Oh, all right. What's time I got left? Okay, seven more minutes. Seven minutes to change until my camera runs out. I'll probably go finish before then. Maybe not. 
Let's keep going. Oh man. So let's see, I talked about the kangaroo, the white tiger, the frog, the turtle, the banana. I don't listen to rock and roll. But I could say that the banana is Brett Michaels. At first I said Nate Richard, which I still think it's a decent shot of it being Harvey, Harvey Kinkle. Still a decent shot between that. Oh, yeah. Well, who's left that I should talk about? The Rhino, I think is Kevin Michael Richardson. I already know straight up I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just going to watch tonight. The astronaut could be Hunter Hayes. But I think it's Daniel Bedingfield. I'll have to check it out. So we got the Rhino astronaut. Night Angel T-Rex. Night Angel T-Rex Rhino astronaut Swan. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I, I didn't start watching her until she made the switch from the WB to UPN because I'm too young. I'm too young. I didn't remember her from the WB. I only saw her on UPN. So, I hope my neighbor, Miss Raquel, is not really listening right now. I hope she's not listening because I'm already caught up. I don't know how far she is. I hope she's not listening to, you know, the spoils and stuff like that. But, you know. Okay, so that's all Group C. Did I talk about who's left in Group B? Um, Brent Michaels is the banana. Bow Wow is definitely the frog. Yeah, I don't think she's listening. And the kitty, the last one. Could be Jackie Vancho, but I'm still sticking to my guns. I naturally don't listen. I'm a tourist. <laughs> I'm not gonna listen. I'm just gonna just say Yvette Sosa, somebody from Eden's Crush, one of Nicole's former band members. <laughs> yeah, let's just go with that. So I'll explain the Turtles, Jesse McCartney. The, the kangaroos Jordan Woods. The white tiger is Rob Gronkowski. Uh, rhino, astronaut, night angel, swan, and T-Rex. Then I said kitty, frog, and banana. Yeah, I've talked about all of them. But, but before I close this video, just say in the comments what guesses you got wrong. I can go on for hours on the guesses that I got wrong. Man. Woo. But not as much because I'm really good at this game. I'm just worse than I am last season. But I figured it out. I'm getting better. But one I cannot forgive myself on is guessing that the monster was Usher when it was T-Pain. <laughs> Teddy Payne wrong. Man. Oh my God. This is messed up. All right. Y'all have a great day. See you.